And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. Well, plenty of rain throughout the area this morning, as well as a little snow and sleet. We are going to be seeing more rain both today and tomorrow afternoon, and then finally tapering off tomorrow evening. The good news is we are going to dry out for the rest of the work week after that. We could be seeing some rain and snow by Christmas Eve. I'll let you know exactly what to expect here in a bit. Now, mainly just that rain out there right now. Temperatures thing around 37 degrees. That's already above average for this time of the year. Our average high temperature today is 36. So we're already above that and we're only getting it warmer throughout the rest of the day. Winds are out of the northeast right now, four miles per hour, but I did mention all that rain. Let's go to precision and show you exactly what's happening out there. Mainly just those rain showers pushing across the viewing area. Now, this is a warm front that's beginning to move on through, but notice for the northern portion, portion of the viewing area, we're talking rain and or snow and sleet. So slick conditions for the northern portion of the viewing area. So once again, just drive safely out there throughout the rest of the morning. Now here's the low pressure system that's going to drag across the viewing area later in the day today. That's going to bring more rain along with it. And as these temperatures begin to warm on up, we're going to see all this snow and sleet disappear and then we're just going to be dealing with all that rain. The cold front here to our south, that could also begin to scoot up into the viewing area later in the day today. But the main thing I'm worried about for as far as more rain goes is a system of snow off to our west. Now this is the system that's been hammering the southwest as well as the Great Plains. We're talking as much as about a foot and a half of snow in some areas. We could catch some moisture from that system over the next couple days here and that could be uh, bringing more rain to the viewing area by tomorrow afternoon as well. Let's turn back to Futurecast right now showing more rain throughout the morning and the afternoon, maybe a little bit of a break during the afternoon as well. Scattered showers, so we're not talking about a whole lot of rainfall here over the next couple days, mainly just a scattered event, not a whole lot of organization as far as that goes. So that rain kicks further off to the east during the day, Wednesday afternoon and evening. We are going to still see those cloudy conditions a little bit clearer Wednesday night into Thursday, but still we are going to be seeing anywhere from about three tenths of an inch of rain all the way to about a half an inch for the southern portion of the viewing area here over the next 48 hours. 45 degrees for your high temperature today. Overnight tonight only cooling down to around 42. Temperatures well above average for this time of the year. Tomorrow as much as 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. So these mild conditions stick around throughout the rest of the work week and finally cooling down by Saturday. That is, that is Christmas Eve. Now another frontal system will move on through as it does. This is when it gets a little bit uh, dicey here. We could be seeing snow. We could be seeing rain. It's more likely to be a rain event as of right now because look at that temperature, 38 degrees. Now we are going to be seeing the northwestern portion of this storm. That's normally when you see plenty of snowfall. But as temperatures warm up on the surface, we could see that snow begin to fall. But as it reaches the surface, it will turn in the rain. And then we're seeing oh, a little bit of a soggy Christmas. But hopefully those temperatures can drop. We could be seeing a white Christmas. Okay. I don't know how the song would go. I'm dreaming of a soggy Christmas. This doesn't sound as nice. It doesn't have the ring, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But we're still holding out for that white Christmas. Exactly.